Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I take you on an exciting journey to graphic design and illustration. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I created this poster. So, first I started with some standard uh, sans serif type. I, I repeated it in a nice, uh, cool little fashion there. And I created this, it's based off of some advertisements that are kind of trendy and new. Uh, with some different kind of typographic uh, styles and elements to them. So I sped this video up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing and uh, you don't have to see, uh, you won't have to experience the full hour that I took. Uh, and I took this down to about eight minutes. So I'm gonna get started. The first thing you're gonna see is I, I have some crumpled uh, type papers that I went ahead and crumpled up and I made an entire package, um, Photoshop package, full of black and white, over 200 uh, different kinds of Photoshop textures, packs, um, papers, whatever. And I went ahead and I have those on Creative Market, but that's what I'm using here. So you can check those out in the link below. I will provide that if you guys want to check it out. It's like 12 bucks for like 220 different kinds of paper textures, plastic, cardboard, um, different labels. It's pretty cool. Check it out. It's kind of trendy. Anyway, so we have two different kinds of paper textures that I'm using here. I'm using a roughed up black paper texture in the background that I'm using for this poster. And I'm also using a uh, paper bag. I scanned in some paper bags and pumped it up. It really gave it a really cool look. Um, so yeah, it really gives it a kind of cool and trendy look. So that's what's there. I also have a random, uh, Q, not QR code, but scanned label there. It's kind of ripped and torn. It's just a really kind of cool look. Um, and that's what I have there. You can find the parental advisory logo pretty much anywhere on online. Um, just go ahead and, and type a search and you'll find it. So <clears throat> alongside that, uh, we just I just have some random text here. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything. You could put anything you want in there, but um, just kind of experimenting here. So most of the time when I go ahead and make these posters, I'm playing with the, the filters in Photoshop. So um, overlays, um, blend filters, just to see what kind of transparency I can get and different effects. So you can really play around with that. Um, also adding different uh, textures from that pack and also using those overlays. So you can really get a really rough uh, kind of style to the poster just by putting those over the text and creating layer maps. And my computer doesn't record uh, all the different windows that I'm going and clicking on different things. But if you guys like this kind of video and you want to see more of them, I can you know download a nice uh, video record and we can actually see the stuff that I'm clicking on rather than uh, just seeing my artboard. <clears throat> so one thing you can do to create this kind of look on your poster is just by taking your texture, your texture paper, um, any kind of anything at all, you can take that, you can change the color um, and then even play with the blend modes on it again. So that's what we've done here. That red background here is actually just that paper bag. I changed the color of it, the hue and saturation, and then I went ahead and played with the blend mode. So right now I think it's on lighten or um, lighten your screen. So that's what's happening there. <clears throat> so another thing that uh, you'll find within graphic design is you have some sort of message that commu you're communicating, and then you also have an image and some type to communicate that message. So again, we're kind of creating this um, fun, uh, trendy type poster here. And so we're going to use a chick who's trendy and she has a skateboard and she looks like she might be on the West Coast. So we're going to put that in there. Another thing you can play with too here that you've seen in the corners of my poster is just taking a rough um, brush from Photoshop, changing the color. You want to make sure that you kind of match. You have like a color scheme within your poster. 
and that will really give it a really cool cohesive feel so what i did with photoshop brush was i just made some uh, marks in the corners in general with typography and graphic design people in general just love uh, symmetry uh it's just <laughs> it's just something that uh, people really enjoy to see in symmetry there is also as asymmetrical layouts that you will uh, find yourself seeing a lot online too so this one combines a little bit of a symmetri symmetrical uh, layout and also a little bit of some symmetrical layout so you have that like kind of nice frame um, brush marks in the corner that really kind of give it uh, some sort of framework you can see here <clears throat> so the how I got these letters here, the West Coast, how I got it to look like that, like it's an old, worn, beat up t-shirt, is that I took one of those um, texture layers and I just laid it over top and then I changed the blood moon to light. So <clears throat> if you don't want to buy a texture pack, you can find rough paper textures um, all over the internet uh, usually. and. Um, just download those and like I said, use your blend modes to uh, change the transparency of it. And you can also change the color to give yourself. Another thing I've seen a lot lately is these circle, uh, just circles with text in them. I guess it's kind of like almost like a, um, like a stamp you would see on an envelope or something, but it's, it's pretty trendy right now and it kind of gives it a, a nice personal touch. You can put more text or content. So, yeah, within, um, yeah, and here I'm just kind of playing with that circle and seeing what I can distort and uh, see what kind of effects we can get. But, So in that texture pack that I told you guys about, I have 220 different textures that I use, and it really gives you, you can put it over top of the artwork, illustration, type work, posters, I mean, just about anything. And it can give it a total worn, you know, screen printed look. It's pretty sweet, actually, I think. And uh, in that pack, I also have paper that has already been masked out. So a lot of times, if you have like a torn piece of paper, you're gonna have to mask it out. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or comments, if you like this video, if I talk too freaking fast and you shut up, that's cool too. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, like, comment, share it subscribe uh, let me know what you guys think if you guys want to see more of these type of uh, posters <laughs>